Hi guys and welcome to part 12 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On this part we are going to configure the Angular Fire 2 library, which is a library that we are going to use to get the data from the database that we created on the last part. Angular Fire 2 library is an open source library and this is used to interact with the data in a Firebase database from an Angular application. We are going to start by first installing the Angular Fire 2 and the Firebase libraries. Next we are going to add the Firebase config to the environments variable and at the end we are going to set up the ng module for the Angular Fire module. So let us start by installing the library. For that we need to execute the command npm install Angular Fire 2 Firebase save. The save in here makes sure that these two libraries are going to be configured on package.json file as well. So the packages were installed. To make sure go to package.json file and in here you are going to see the Angular Fire 2 and the Firebase dependencies. Now go back to the documentation and the next step is that we need to add the Firebase configuration to our environment.ts file. To get your Firebase configuration go to your Firebase application that you created on the previous part and then navigate to the overview. In here you are going to see three options add Firebase to your iOS application, add Firebase to your Android application and the last one which is our case is the add Firebase to your web application. Click in here and you will get your Firebase configuration. From here copy only this part of the code and go back to your environment.ts file. You can find your environment.ts file inside the source folder environments environment.ts file and just below in here add firebase open curly brackets and paste what you get from your configuration so this is the second step and the last step is that you need to go to your app.module.ts and in here inject the firebase providers and specify your firebase configuration we have already mentioned on the previous part that to configure a module we need to go to the app.module.ts file and in here before we configure it, so Firebase configuration files, let us import the modules that we need to configure. So we are going to use first the Angular Fire module. And since we placed our configuration on the environment file, we are going to import that one as well. The next step that you need to do is that you need to write in here on the imports array Angular Fire module dot initialize application using the environment.firebase configuration and save the changes. If you want you could optionally provide a custom Firebase application name with, with the initialize app method. So for that in here just write book notes app. So like this we have made the configuration only to the Firebase application that we created on the previous part. But to interact with the database of this application, we are going to configure another module. So for that, we are going to import Angular Fire Database module. So we imported the module, but to use it, we need to configure it in our imports array. So we write it in here as well. And now we save the changes. So this is all you need to do to configure Firebase to an Angular application. And this is all for this part. On the next part, we are going to use the books component to get all the books from the Firebase database. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.